Heidi ho there friends and neighbors Bobby here tonight friends welcome tonight to my video we're going to do a little bit of testing and comparison between a few popular flashlights out there and uh, actually the one that we are going to be promoting tonight is this Bell and Howell tack light I'm going to show you that it's a pretty awesome little flashlight okay and we'll definitely have a link down below to where you can purchase one yourselves all right, first of all, let's talk about flashlights. I'm a mechanic, okay? And every good mechanic needs to have a flashlight, flashlight in his pocket at all times, okay? This here is a Coast that I've had for going on three years now. I carry this one in my pocket every day. It's a 200 loom flashlight. It takes three AAA batteries to operate it. As you can see, some of the paint and everything is worn off of it, but it still works pretty doggone good every day for getting underneath the hood of a car and finding things, uh, finding problems wrong with the car. Now, right over here, we have a <clears throat> we have an Ozark Trail. This is a pretty good little flashlight too. I think it's like a 250 lumen flashlight that has like a telescoping um, feature here, you know, to kind of uh, bring the light in closer or further away uh, but it's just a little bit too bulky to carry around in your pocket in your front pocket all day long so i don't really use this one at work i keep this one at the house you know and then i have one here that is an ozark trail 600 loom flashlight it's a little bit brighter it holds six um double a batteries pretty good little flashlight the batteries last a good good length of time in it but it doesn't really have any panning features or anything it just has one switch on for being uh, bright and then one switch, you switch it again and it actually makes it just a little bit dimmer. But today we're going to be talking about this uh, Bell & Howe tack light. I had seen the ads on TV and then I found where I could purchase one on eBay. So here's the little box that it comes in. Here's the paperwork that it comes in. And we're gonna do a little bit of testing with this tonight in comparison with these other two. And I think you're gonna be impressed like I was, so stay tuned. Okay, friends, first we're gonna show you the light pattern of this, uh, the larger Ozark Trail, the 600 loom light. We'll show you the pattern on the ceiling of the room here. So go ahead and flip the light. I'm gonna flip the light on. And there we can see the pattern on the ceiling and kind of tell the brightness of it. And we're gonna flip the switch one more time and it goes just a little bit dimmer and then you flip the switch one more time and it's off okay that was our first light okay let's move on to the second light which is our ozark trail 250 loom light go ahead and flip the light we're going to flip it on okay and we're going to use the telescoping feature we can make it pan out that big or we can pinpoint it to that size right there and let's see what happens when we flip the switch one more time. It actually goes off. And then we go back on again, and it will be a little bit dimmer, as you can see, a little bit dimmer, and then we can flip it off. All right, let's move on to the Coast, which is the one that I carry every day. And it does have a telescoping feature as well, and the way that you do it is by twisting it, okay? So let's go ahead and give it a try. All right, and we put fresh batteries in all of these today. And there we go, we're gonna open it up all the way. And there we're gonna pan it to the brightest point in the middle. We're gonna flip the switch, flip it one more time. As you can see, it does have the feature where it goes just a little bit dimmer as well. Okay, so go ahead and flip the light back on. Now, we're going to show you this brand new Bell & Howe tack light. Okay, go ahead and flip the light. All right, let's flip it on. Okay, there we go. We can see that pattern all the way around. You can see the brightness of that. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it all the way in, okay? Look at that, friends. And we're gonna take this outside here in a little bit and show you just how far that beam of light will go. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just bring it, well, no, we'll leave it down like that right there. Flip the switch, it goes a little bit dimmer. Flip it again, it goes a little bit dimmer again. Flip it again, it gives you a strobe effect. Wow, that makes me dizzy. 
and then it gives you kind of like a warning signal type pattern. I don't know exactly what you call that, but that's pretty cool. And then you flip it one more time and it goes off. Okay, friends, there's our demonstration right here on the ceiling. We're gonna take it outside. It's actually dark outside right now. I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna do. We might get underneath the hood of a car and um, check out you know, how, how well we can see underneath the hood of the car with this bell and how. And I'll probably just bring the coast with me because this is the typical one that I use at work every day. And we'll just test these two outside. So let's go. Okay, folks, we're outside under the hood of a Nissan Altima and we got the regular coast light that I use every day. Uh, 200 loom light and we're underneath the hood here. Let's see here. Let's just open it up and we see how much uh, brightness we can get there. As you can kind of get an idea of, let's go ahead and bring it on in. And now I'm going to quickly turn on the um, Bell and Howell light and we can kind of get a uh, let me go ahead and pan it out first of all. So as you can kind of tell, hang on a minute. I got this one set the other way. All right, so to my right here, over here, we have the Bell and Howe, and then over here, we have the, uh, the Coast Light. And as you can tell right now, I mean, you can't really tell a whole lot of difference. I mean, they both look about the same, but let's go ahead and pan each one of them in, and we'll try to find a spot on the engine down low to where we can pan these two. So let's start with my light. Let's look down in here between the uh, uh, air cleaner housing and the valve cover. Let's just look down in here, look real deep and you can see a, the aluminum on the transmission housing there. And then I'm gonna quickly move this other light in its place. So as you can see, it pinpoints that light it definitely looks a little brighter to me. I don't know if you can really tell that on the camera, but we'll just pan back and forth. And I think I like the fact that it really just pinpoints the light if you're really trying to tune in on something. Let me go ahead and bring it, pan it back a little bit now. Okay, so let me try to think of a few more tests that we can do. Hey friends, I know you can't see me, but we kind of, uh, Found something pretty cool here. Uh, we got the light down here. We got it zoomed in on the little small square. I'm at the end of my street. I'm gonna shine the light all the way to the end. I know it's at least a quarter mile down there. And check out the stop sign at the end of the road. How it brightens that right on up. And look at the road. I mean, I can brighten that road right on up. I just think that's pretty cool. Okay, folks, I decided to go into my backyard. I got about a half acre lot here. We're gonna flip the light on here. As you can see, we got it uh, still on the small stream. We're going to open it up. And actually, you can see pretty good up into the trees and everything. You can see my burn barrel right there in the middle of the backyard. I got an old uh, piece of junk Chevy truck back there that I'm going to take an engine out of and rebuild it here pretty soon for our Chevy truck project. You see there, I can kind of zoom in on that pretty good. Let's see here. We've got an old cedar tree right here. If there was a cat or something stuck up in there, by golly, <laughs> I could pinpoint him out, you know? I don't know if I could climb up there and get him or not, but that's pretty cool. I like this light, it's pretty cool. All right, let's go back inside and we'll talk about how you can get you one. Okay, friends, hey, we're back inside after doing a little testing with our flashlights here. Uh, I will tell you the prices of some of these. I think this Ozark Trail here, I might've paid 25 for. Uh, I believe this one here I paid 20 or 25 for as well. These were at Walmart. Pretty good little flashlights here, but just a little bit too bulky to carry around, you know, in your pocket every day if you're a mechanic like me. This coast here, I'm not really sure the price. Actually, this, this was given to me by my, uh, my boss man. I believe it's probably about a $50 flashlight. Uh, it's been a great flashlight. And then tomorrow I'm looking forward to taking this to work and giving it a try. Um, these right here, and I'll put a link down below, you can purchase these for $14.99. And I think for $14.99, that's a pretty good price on this little flashlight. Now friends, if you've seen the commercial on TV, uh, supposedly you can run over this thing with a Humvee. 
you can put it in water and the light still works you can freeze it in a block of ice and it still works i'm not going to try all that craziness okay unless you guys really want me to do it i'll buy another one and we'll put it through all that crazy stuff if you want if you really want to see me do that uh, leave me a link down below let me know that you want to see some crazy extreme tests with the flashlight but i'm going to be content taking this with me tomorrow uh, to work and seeing how it works out. The only thing, uh, I mean, I love the fact that it has all these features, you know, like the strobing light and all that, but um, it, I will have to get used to that because a lot of times, uh, you know, I'll cut a flashlight on and then I want to be able to cut it off and put it in my pocket. Sometimes I'll stick it in the pocket and the light will still be on. And uh, so I have to get used to making sure I tab through one, two, three, four times or whatever to get it to cut off. That'll be the only thing that I'll have to get used to uh, when carrying this light. But I think I'm going to really like this light. Friends, thank you for um, watching the video today. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell a few friends about us. Leave us some comments down below in case you already have one of these. Let us know uh, what you think about them. And of course, again, like I said, we'll have a link down below if you want to purchase one yourself. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.